Hello Freedom Fighters! So, to start this video, I would like us all to take a look back at childhood. I don't know about you, but when I was younger, I really enjoyed watching the show Garfield and Friends. I'd watched it a lot when I was very, very young, and then when I was 12, I got really sick, and I binged the entire, like, run. I watched every season. And there was one episode in particular that really stuck with me, because Garfield made some really compelling points that I had honestly never thought about, and they changed my entire worldview. Take a look. There's no such place as Wyoming. Think about it. Have you ever met anyone from Wyoming? No, now that you mention it, I don't think I'm really Well, there you are. After that episode, I was reeling. Garfield was right. I'd never even met anyone who claimed to have been to Wyoming, let alone live there. And at first I was like, well, why would anyone even lie about this? Why would you make up a state? But then I did some research. Wyoming has been the swing vote in a lot of very, very important decisions in U.S. history. Just looking back at the 2012 and 2016 elections, you'll notice a very clear pattern. In the very close 2012 election, they were a blue state, narrowly electing Obama into the White House, who we all know was a lizard person. In 2016, they turned back to a red state and elected Trump, who, although he may not really be a lizard person, I understand the confusion. He has some very striking qualities about him. Looking even further into it, I found that every celebrity that claims to have been to Wyoming are in fact lizard people. Harrison Ford, Dick Cheney, and many others. Having heard this information, you might be wondering, what can I do, Kira? How can I help? Well, the first thing you need to do is protect yourself. If you meet anyone who claims they have been to Wyoming or they are from Wyoming, they are either lying to you or they are a member of the deep state and you have to stay clear. If someone says, hey, just got back from a trip to Wyoming, unfriend them on Facebook, run away from them in person, block them in real life, I guess wear a blindfold, but just don't get near them because they will harm you and they are after you. Stay strong, Freedom Fighters, and stay safe. Hello again, Freedom Fighters. I just have a couple of housekeeping things to say. First of all, please like, subscribe, and share these videos. I really want to keep as many people safe as I can. And secondly, I am still doing another Q&A. I just need some more questions. So if you could please leave some questions down in the comments down below, I would really appreciate it. Don't forget to vote for me in 2036. Kara Light out.